Well, for you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all good. Having a blessed day. I'm gonna see what wants to come out. Past, present, future. We've got the Empress on the back of the deck. First card out, strength. First thing coming through is Simba. <laughs> when Rafiki, when Rafiki says to Simba, when he hits him on the head and tells him about the past, leave the past behind you. No, I need to know what it is. Four, four past 8.44 a.m. The past can hurt, but from the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Change is good, but it's not easy. I know what I have to do, but going back means I'll have to face my past. What's coming through with this? <sighs> Instantly, I'm in panic mode when it comes to things like this because there's just so much projection. And of course, everybody's different. Like, you've got to follow your intuition. What's right for one ain't necessarily right for the other one. You know? Like, no, we shouldn't accept abuse. But then it's like, they're setting boundaries and then there's escapism. There's avoiding people as a way to avoid yourself and avoid doing your own inner work and to avoid healing your own generational patterns as a way to avoid having to forgive your own ancestry. And there's a way of doing it to set boundaries so that you can truly thrive, so you and yours can thrive. It's like, be mindful, don't be hard on yourself for the decisions that you've made, King of Cups, you've moved with integrity. What else is coming through? I'm about to go on a rant. Um, Cause there's a lot of things out there. Um, to forgive a family member that's hurt you is, it's like bypassing. Um, to say, oh, just forgive all, forgive all. Oh yeah, punch me in the face. Is it okay? I forgive you. No, it's not okay. Accepting bad behavior, no. Like receiving bad behavior is not okay. For the sake of being the better person. You're not being a better person by disrespecting yourself by choosing to stay around people that intentionally hurt you. However, that thing about, oh, I have to go back, I have to face my past. Sometimes we do need to go back to things, but I don't know. And none of us really know. So go with your own flow. My perspective which has nothing to do with this reading but i'm being guided to share this so maybe there's something in it because whether you agree with it or you disagree with it it will reinforce your own view it's like it, sometimes it takes something that you don't agree with to um install confidence in how much you agree with what you what you thought in the first place but it's like I feel like there's this new age thing out here. Am I gonna get slaughtered for this? Probably. Oh well. Anyway. Surrender, surrender. Like if we live now, we're supposed to live how we're supposed to live, because how are we supposed to live? But if we're living how we're supposed to live based on this person's opinion, you know, together in our tribe, one with nature, you're not just gonna mooch off from the tribe. 
because one person pissed you off. Like, you're just not. There's loyalty. You stand together. You work through things. You don't give up on things so easily. You don't just walk away because there's somewhere else to go, especially when there isn't anywhere else to go because home is the tribe. Home is the family. You all work together, one community. If one piece is missing, it's like a part's missing. The car's not going to work if a part's missing. The boat's not going to float if a part's missing. It's like there's a oneness to things. Depending on your beliefs, like... The greatest teacher you'll ever meet is those that are your soul, soul family. And really your soul family. Not those that necessarily just like what you do and say yes when you say yes and no when you say no. That sing your song. It's not meant to be easy. But is it worth it? Yes. Life's short, not everyone changes. Of course we can't wait for someone else to change but there's a decision that you've made here that is like spirits urging me to celebrate you to to bring this to light that how much honor you have moved with when it comes to you and why don't i'm gonna cry when it comes to you and yours when it comes to you and your family when it comes to doing the right thing for the right reason when it's not the popular decision you may have stood alone for a long time because of the decisions you've made. People may have judged you as something, doing something wrong when you was actually moving with the utmost integrity. This hasn't gone unnoticed. Maybe you're the only one that knows it. Eight of Wands. Celebrate yourself. I'm gonna cry. Oh, she's gone. Come back. This just feels really emotional. It feels like you could have gone through a really hard time that there's been a lot of challenges, a lot of, and not just challenges, like, uh, um, a lot of breakdowns, a lot of breakthroughs, eight of ones again. I've been guided to read from the magical course in Tarot, Michelle Morgan. I don't know where I put it. Go look for it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hard work's about to pay off. You're going to be celebrating the fruits of your labours real soon. Something you've been physically putting work into. It could have been a really lonely road, having to believe in yourself. You're about to receive some kind of reward coming up from to the end of this year. There's huge changes coming in, obviously, all the planetary shenanigans. Pluto in cap, first to the nineteenth. Something's coming through. Just really honouring this time. Like this is the last stretch, the final stretch. That's how it feels. Been guided to stop on page ninety-two and page ninety-three, which is the fool and the magician. Not really being guided to read this, but together these images is and the meaning of like the fool and the magician. What's coming through with this? It's like. You've created this magical new beginning for yourself. You've liberated yourself. You've found your magic. You've remembered your magic again. Crazy. I wanted to read the eight of ones. As soon as I've clocked what being guided to check this, I've turned up all these pages and there it is straight away. The eight of ones is a card of action. This is a time of swift movement, channels of communication, opening wide and the unfettered exchange of pure energy. There is a dizzying aspect to this card. Things will speed up and change at a moment's notice and choices and options abound. Now is the time to send messages, make contacts, act on wishes and dreams and ideas. Others will see you in a brighter light and respond. Love and creativity are electrified. Here is a carnival at midnight. It actually says gypsy carnival, but I'm so not here for this word being thrown about here. Yeah and let me not go there summer solstice and the fires of yule igniting all at once I'm like, let me go there what do you mean what more is important than what i need to say right now? let it go let it go summer solstice and the fires of yule igniting all at once reach for the stars eight of wands 
have grease this, guys. Some of you coming through, you could have really been seen as do lot of lally tat, seen as mad. I just got an image of a comment someone put on uh, one of my videos about you need this specific type of medication or whatever it is. Is that it, right? So, um, you ain't got, there ain't no medication for this. <laughs> um, so, it's that like you could really have been judged, seen as something wrong with you, for you just being you for your own ways, whether it's just because of how tapped in you are mentally, spiritually, emotionally, um, whatever it is, whatever it is, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, whatever it is, it's like, this is your light. This authenticity needs to be turned all the way up. That they can't label you. Something can't be labeled. You're not meant, you're not here to be labeled. You're not here to fit in a box. Glow however you want to. Some dream you set out to create, something has been made possible. Those that have doubted you, those that may be, it's strange because what's coming through, it's like, it could be family, it could be friends, people you're around, but it's like, you could have really been left to fill your own cup, that there's only been, it's like you and you, you and your guides. But you're about to be in a position just as i said that the gucci advert come up with um, miley cyrus singing i can buy myself flowers yeah you're about to be in a position to be buying yourself some flowers you can buy yourself all the flowers in the world um because you're about to be in a position where you are going to be able to give back and it's funny because there's something coming through about the people that you wanted to help in the first place regardless of how you've been treated by someone you're still helping the same people. It's like your decisions aren't changing. Your heart isn't changing based on someone else's actions. There's a knowing here of the role that people have played in your life. Again, this isn't going to be for everyone. If you want to come for me, don't. You don't want to. Justice. when I say that because it's like no you shouldn't help you shouldn't help it's like oh I don't know guys I just don't know because really it's like and from my own personal experience it's like we can really be running around out here trying to find happiness trying to be happy trying to find the people that are just right for us that are always nice to us that that don't hurt our feelings that don't trigger us it's like it's it's about us like it's about us it all starts within um, and you can really run around the world and come back and realise that the things that needed facing were always where you started, bloom where you're planted, yeah. It's like there's times where you need to um, have distance and, and but it's like things aren't so permanent to really not miss the point. It's like things are not so permanent, but things are more permanent than you realise. In terms of it's like, you're leaving a mark, an eternal mark, an eternal footprint. What's this you're showing me then? Empress with heartbreak and seven of wands. Yeah, it's like politely taking yourself out. It's like, I don't know. It feels like you've dealt with things instead of maybe being so confrontational or it's like getting to a point where instead of having conversations with people or trying to get people to see their wrongs or see your rights or see their ways or see your ways, that it's like you just put that energy elsewhere. Keeping it moving. There's nothing to be said. Empress, justice, fall, high priestess, strength, the world guys you ask for a new beginning there's a lot the oh guys look how am i skimming past this the outcome the sun um i'll come back to you This illusion's over. 
you've seen the truth of someone's intentions, someone's why. It feels like it's been heartbreaking to see why people do what they do or why someone treats you the way they do, why something needs to change, that you can see an inevitable change coming, that something's ending. Uranus. Power energy. Could be a lot of changes at um, beginning of September. Huge breakthroughs. Huge breakthroughs. This isn't necessarily comfortable, but it's blessed, extremely blessed. It's that like you don't win the race without running it what athletes have to go through to get to their goal, what you endure to get the gold. There's something here about your self-worth, soul worth, your like physically what you're receiving also. There's been a breaking down, like a shedding spiritual warrior kind of energy, hermit. You're being asked to really turn your authenticity all the way up. Be the change, create the change. Um, it feels like be the spanner in the works. I just caught a glimpse of myself and I'm like, what are you doing? Like literally, I just got up, it was like earlier. I've been up from like 4 a.m. or whatever it was, pottering about. Um, wandered off to the park, went on the swing, just like com completely pleased my inner child. A little hot chocolate, little puff, little swing, put on my crystal hat. Um, and then just thought, I really wanted to read. I haven't done one for however long. It's just been a, uh, it's been wild. I'm not even going to go there, it's been wild. I was like, how are you even showing up looking like this? No makeup, covered in moisturizer, greasy as a what? Girl hasn't even drawn her eyebrows on. Um, but I just feel so happy and content. And there's something about this. It's like, nothing needs to be perfect. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to be you. You want to start something. You want to put yourself out there. You want to... I don't know, start a YouTube channel, you want to vlog, you want to put some kind of writing out there, you want to put yourself out there, you want to model. It's like maybe there's not a kind of thing that's you, for you, a box you can fit in. It's like you're being asked to be the change, to be the glitch, to shake it up. Do what you want to do. Who said you have to look this way, be that way, be polished and pruned in order to do this? Are you saying that in order to receive, you need to be at a certain place, you need to already have a certain thing. You need nothing to receive. You're worthy as you are, do you believe that? Maybe do something physically to affirm that, put up your prices or in terms of your services or invest in something, buy something for yourself, something luxurious. Do or something that makes you feel luxurious. That doesn't have to be something materialistic. Um, it felt luxurious swinging on the swing in the sun. It really could be anything. But if you do want to buy yourself something materialistic, I would advise these crystal bracelets that I'm selling from Otter Spirit, not my brand, but I thought that was a great time. Check them out, link in description, um, discount code. Also, this one's Tiger's Eye and Carnelian and Clear Quartz. This is a Capricorn intention set, but they have all different ones. I really want the Sag one. Um, do you know what? Do they have off Hucus? I need to shout them and check that because I don't actually know, guys. And if they don't, I'm sorry, wasting your time in this reading. I might find something else on there like that, you never know. Guys, we've got the tower, the star, the fall, the sun, the empress, strength, justice. Who's that? Virgo, hermit. Oh. 
I was guided to watch something about the next moon in Virgo. Is it new moon in Virgo? Okay, so I've been going through about new moon in Virgo, 2nd or 3rd of September. That's what that said. I don't actually know. Not quite the astrology yet. Um, Virgo, new moon, new love, soulmate, energy. Some of you guys, it's like twin flame energy. You could be seeing 6 9 a lot. Something's going through about beginning of September. Nine of pentacles on that. Yes, go, 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 hangman in reverse. Oh, hello, ace of swords, as I, yeah, okay. Um, passionate new beginnings, lots of blessings. Death. King of pentacles, ace of wands. Guys, this is, okay. Okay, guys, we've got Page of Wands, Heart Chakra, Crystal, of course, another one. I don't know how to pronounce. I'm going to just have to do a day of pronunciation of crystals, like, because this is just ridiculous now. Chrysopraise, Chrysopraise, Cry so praise. If anyone knows this, if someone can just write it how it's meant to be said, not how it's spelled, would appreciate that. Chrysoprase, C-H-R-Y-S-O-P-R-A-S-E. The time for harvesting your dreams is near, but you should always be careful of what you ask for because you might get it. The rewards are not always as you envisioned them. Avoid a world of make-believe and act on what you see with your own eyes. Sometimes others will bring you information or gifts which may help, but you will need to decide for yourself what is worth listening to and acting on and what is not. Chrysopraise will help you see through any confusion and allow you to trust the feelings of your heart. The sun. I was like, let me just pour another spread on this love coming in, this new love. Yeah, we've got the sun, two of cups, past energy in love. We've got headache, headache, headache. Bye. Present energy, two of cups, commitment, the sun. This feels like family. This feels like trust, loyalty, real tribe energy. Happy, healthy, wealthy, free. Yes. moving physically moving there's a change happening it's like you've been single a long time for a very long time some of you you're about to be in a commitment a marriage you some kind of partnership long term this is something for the long term this is something you've never experienced before completely contrasting change to anything you've experienced you know this you can feel this follow your first instincts when it comes to accepting offers there's also something you've been feeling called to do something you feel called to step into and um, something you feel called to put down stop doing to embody a way of doing something what you're investing in what you're eating where you're going who you're around whatever it is behavior or whatever it is there's something you've been asked to do to release to like a ritualistic death create an ending Oh, crazy man. Really? <laughs> um, I just got an image of something I didn't want to get an image of, but it's coming through for a reason and I'll I'll get it up. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, painful ending. Something could have really knocked you out. Loss, heartbreak. Um, it feels like just being laid up in bed in depression, in physical pain is it's just complete burden there's an ending to this i decided to take myself out yesterday i thought i'd go and get myself a couple um dragon fruit so i'll go and get myself some goodies i'm living in two different worlds right now so i'm literally like living as the most unhealthiest version unconsciousest version of myself and the most healthiest 
conscious version of myself in the same day and it's like i'm shopping for both them people i'm moving like both them people it's just a mess i'm in the middle of my own ritualistic death and um, so i thought i'm gonna get myself some goodies some um happy healthy goodies and some unhealthy happy goodies and to just cheer myself up and as i was wandering down the road I always walk down the same road and literally there's nothing ever on the road okay people are messy they'll be littering but nothing ever really that catches my eye as i'm walking down the road bang in the middle of the road when i'm telling you bang in the middle of the road like the pavement where i'm walking it's like someone had measured it someone had measured it and placed this thing in the middle of the pavement anyway it was a rat now i'm not good with rats at the best of times but this poor little fella, right? Oh, the robin just landed on the fence. I can see him out there in the garden. Hey, buddy. Um, oh, I'm gonna cry. Um, this rat in the middle of the pavement and literally, it looks so human-like. It had been like splat, deaded. I don't know what had done it. I do not know. But it was so human-like. It's literally, his arms are out with his little hands up and its mouth was open, its tongue hanging out, like, ugh, gone. And just so animated, you know, like, you know, like if children are play fighting or sword fighting and they pretend to get done, like they pretend to get sworded. And it's like that dramatic ending. Uh, and it's like, that is literally how it looked. It looked almost comical. Of course it wasn't like, it was emotional, but the way that its facial expression was so human, like, is that like, there's no way I could have missed this thing. It's like it was there for me as a sign. So I thought, well, this ain't a good omen. I thought I'm about to turn around and go home and forget about this. Like, he had guts splurting out, blood splurting out. I thought, poor little fella. Part of me just wanted to pick him up and put him somewhere, but I just, I didn't know what to do. So I was like, do I just, like, forget about this trip? Like, let me just, anyway, what does she do? Turns to her most trusted Google. <laughs> Because it's like, no, check it. Oh, back again, guys, nine six nine six six nine six nine. You could be seeing this a lot. And it was actually not a scary thing. Encountering a dead rat could signify the end of a certain phase or aspect of your life, paving the way for new beginnings and opportunities. Just as the rat has passed away, so too may something in your life be coming to, to a close, making room for growth and transformation. The date of this, whatever, whoever wrote this, the date of it is 11 8 of April 2021. Don't know why I'm being guided to share that date, but I am, so it might resonate with someone. Seeing a dead rat means deliverance from an unclean and evil spirit is occurring. It could also mean you have overcome a spirit of poverty. A sign of wealth and excess. So it could be both, but I'm being guided, it could be a positive or a negative, but I'm being guided to read these positive. Um, and that was the first thing that came up when I checked it before. So something's coming through about this. It's like a major ending um, even with like the uh, Pluto in Capricorn and the 248 year transit, it's like, it's like some of our hardest times and our hardest lessons really lead us to our greatest blessing, blessings and to really utilize, utilize those times when we're in the dark, when we're in the dirt. Um, to really honor all sides of that rebirth energy. Because in a way it's like to rush through it is to miss out on the blessing. If a caterpillar rushes through its transformation, it's damaged to the butterfly. It's not in full form or its wings aren't fully developed or there's some kind of injury. It's like, and even I was deep in this because with um, the Pluto and Cappy um, 
1st of September to the 19th of November. I must have been praying for how many years for this transit, this palaver, this transformational shenanigans to come to an end. And now it's coming to an end. I'm like, no, like, have I done everything? Have I took it all into consideration? Have I got enough time? I've only got till November. Like, I'm not going to speak to anyone. I'm not going to see anyone. Like, I'm going on a Pluto party, bro. Like, because actually all I've been doing is cussing you out, but you have created the best and the most monumental changes in my life. Um, and have helped to make that happen. So it's like, appreciating all sides of things. News worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations or births, friends you cherish. Stay, um, stay focused, be mindful of distractions right now. It's a major turning point. Um, don't give anyone else or anything else your focus. It feels like you need to be fully focused on yourself, on what you're doing right now in terms of no time for nonsense. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people that you can trust. Buffalo on the back of the deck, number 19. Prayer and abundance. Oh, sh guys, did you see that? I didn't even get to shuffle when it came out straight away. Number one, the eagle. Stop, 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 stop. Number one, the eagle. Did you see how that come out? Stop. And we've got judgment and the sun sitting here above the evil. Stop. Huge breakthrough, guys. This is a huge breakthrough. Some of you could really be doubting yourself and it's like, realize how loved you are, appreciate yourself, honor yourself, how you've been honoring your path. Like, feels like you really need to celebrate yourself take time out for yourself you don't owe anyone any explanation you don't owe anyone any information you can just quietly wander off and have a lovely day and there's something about that it's like really take time for yourself make yourself a priority be sure to be filling your cup it feels like I'm being asked to emphasize this because it's your natural way to give. And it may be something that has had you out of balance in the past. Something that's had to be learned, that thing where sometimes we need to be very selfish in order to be selfless, especially when we've um, given from an empty cup for so long. It can cause resentment, it can cause, it's like, it doesn't help anyone. It doesn't even like, it doesn't help others for us to give to them if we don't have it to give in the long term. Eagle fly high, touch great spirit, share your medicine, touch me, honor me so that I may know you too. Page 41 and 42. Eagle medicine is the power of the great spirit, the connection to the divine. It is the ability to live in the realm of spirit and yet remain connected and balanced within the realm of earth. Eagle soars and is quick to observe expansiveness within the overall pattern of life. From the heights of the clouds, eagle is close to the heavens where the great spirit dwells. The feathers of eagle are considered to be the most sacred of healing tools. They have been used for centuries by shamans to cleanse the auras of patients coming to them for healing. Within the grace achieved through hard work, understanding and a completion of the tests of initiation which result in the taking of one's personal power, it is only through the trial of experiencing the lows in life as well as the highs and through the trial of trust in one's connection to the great spirit that the right to use the essence of evil medicine is earned. If you have pulled this symbol, Eagle is reminding you to take heart and gather your courage for the universe is presenting you with an opportunity to soar above the mundane levels of your life. The power of recognising this opportunity may come in the form of a spiritual test. 
In being astute, you may recognise the places within your soul, personality, emotions or psyche that need bolstering or refinement by looking at the overall tapestry. Eagle teaches you to broaden your sense of self beyond the horizon of what is presently visible. In learning to fiercely attack your personal fear of the unknown, the wings of your soul will be supported by the ever-present breezes, which are the breath of the Great Spirit. Feed your body, but more importantly, feed your soul. Within the realm of Mother Earth and Father Sky, the dance that leads to flight involves the conquering of fear and the willingness to join in the adventure that you are co-creating with the divine. If Eagle has majestically soared into your cards, you are being put on notice to reconnect with the element of air, areas of the mental plane, and in this instance is of the higher mind. Wisdom comes in many strange and curious forms and is always related to the creative force of the Great Spirit. If you have been walking in the shadows of former realities, Eagle brings illumination. Eagle teaches you to look higher and to touch grandfather's son with your heart and to love the shadow as well as the light. See the beauty in both and you will take flight like the eagle. Eagle medicine is the gift we give ourselves to remind us of the freedom of the skies. Eagle asks you to give yourself permission to legalize freedom and to follow the joy your heart desires. Four, 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 four. I put these two decks together because they're too small in one little separate deck. They're annoying to shuffle and they're similar kind of messages. So let's just see. Okay, guys, we've got five cards come out here. We've got Let It Go. Give a balloon a problem name like anxiety, regret or missed opportunities and let it go. This visualisation exercise can help you see what's bothering you and ease the mental load by literally letting it go. So you could actually get a balloon and write in it or on it what the problem is and then cut it and meditate and release that or do something and let it float away on the water or whatever it is. Um, or just mentally envision that. My friend always tells me to do that. She's like, just see the balloon or the bouncy ball and let it blow away, let it bounce away, let it fly away. And you just like inhale and exhale and imagine the balloon floating off. Play, find little moments of fun in the everyday. Keep a bat and ball handy. Throw a frisbee by taking moments to play. You're fueling yourself with endor endorphins. And it's like, if it just comes over you just to do it, it's not even like making a plan to do anything. Like if you just fancy it, just do it, whatever it is. Maybe leave things around. Like I'll leave things around just so that if I feel to do something, it's just there. So it's not too much thought about going to make it happen. So like there's a football in the garden. So if I feel like I just want to run around or kick about, then I'll kick about and play with the football. Or I'll have my um, a playlist of like different workout videos or dance videos. And I'll go to that if I feel to do that. So it's right there ready when you're ready. It could be just lots of different things. Just having things around that are fun, things you can do to entertain yourself. And in a way, maybe things that you're passionate about, is that just because it's fun doesn't mean it's not productive, doesn't mean it's not your passion, doesn't mean it's not business. Um, because it's like even doing something fun, like playing, you're still exercising, you're keeping fit if you're doing something physical or if you're creating something, you're mastering your skills. We've got fact, some things just don't work out and that's okay. Think of a time in the past when things didn't go your way and then something even better happened. If you find yourself in that bad space, remember that good things will happen again. They always do. Nothing compares to you. You do you, be confident in your own choices. Don't let envy or comparison 
dampen your own personal joy and outlook. Then we've got please yourself. Forget people pleasing before taking on any new task. Consider if it is something you are doing for you or someone else who truly benefits here. Who are you trying to please? Coming back to the why the intention. I can't seem to find my Alice deck. Interesting. Anywho. We've got Moon in Pisces. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. Number six, let the hell. He's a regular here, you and oh, you always come out. It's not that I'm complaining. Nice to see you again. Blessed with great idealism and balance, he has the strength to prevent evil, always quick to help people in need. He makes sacrifices through acting without self-interest. He can sometimes lack willpower and it is possible for him to leave the battleground, although he tries to be master of himself. The symbol with which he is associated is the snake that bites its own towel as a symbol of rebirth. He feels the protection of God and the angelic world and is able to make strong psychic contact. He receives messages by tuning into the world of spirits and he can even move objects through the power of the mind. I just got an image of Matilda. <laughs> he has obtained, I watched that the other um, this week, the other night. He has obtained from study of traditional texts so that, and every time I watch it, I'm just there trying to move the glass. I haven't got that far yet. Was it telekin telekinesis? telekinesis i don't know just keep keep at it he is able to develop concepts sent to him from an astral plane and simplify knowledge he has obtained from study of traditional texts so that more people can understand the beauty of the sciences of the angels page number 15 being guided to read the reverse as well. He uses his knowledge for great causes, his particular concerns being quality of life, awareness and the state of humanity. He has ideas for building hospitals to help people and for spiritual treatments, such as the use of crystals. Link in description. I'm gonna check herbal magic and see if anything new wants to come out. I keep getting similar ones, but we'll see. Oh, we do have a new one, guys. We've got dandelion and dianthus. This is from herbal magic, Aurora Kane. So we've got dandelion, daily correspondence, Thursday, element air, zodiac, sign, sag and Taurus, energy masculine, planetary companion, Jupiter. Though a weed to some, dandelion has a bright mane that heralds sunny optimism to others. Dandelions can survive, even thrive in some of the harshest conditions. As such, they speak of emotional healing and persistence of wishes granted. Called the rustic oracle in the language of flowers, dandelion is said to serve as a meadow's clock. Its flowers open at 5 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. Magical properties incorporate dandelion into your spells for divination, granting wishes, healing, and purification. Suggested use. Make a wish or set an intention, then blow on the seed head to send wishes into the universe. This is a good way to introduce children to magical herb use too. Use dandelion flowers in cleansing spells and to summon your intuition in meditation. Ring a yellow or orange candle with flower heads. Light the candle and fill your spirit, fill with joy. As a harbinger of spring, place a vase full of dandelion flowers on your springtime altar to draw renewal and courage to you. 
Sunny flower tooth of lion, infuse in me the strength of iron. Fill my heart with courage so free and steep in me the will to see. Interesting, dandelion. Dandelion tea's coming through. Really great, especially this time of year. Especially if you're in the UK, you need some dandelion tea, some sea moss, and some raspberry leaf, some raspberry, red raspberry leaf, some nettle, and some hibiscus. And boost up that immune system because shenanigans, guys, shenanigans. All right, so Dianthus, planetary companion, Mercury. Daily correspondence, Wednesday, element fire, zodiac sign, Taurus. Energy masculine. Sweet William sweeps in with gallantry. This cheerful flower delights not just the eyes, but palate as well, as it is edible. It attracts birds, bees, and butterflies to your garden, and is also an invitation to the fairy folk. Oh, love this. I literally just um, been looking for edible flowers because, to make fairy salads, because I need some kind of incentive to get back on the raw foods. Add to healing poppets, protective sachets, or posies. Keep Sweet William anywhere in your home where healing is needed and a little cheer could help. Garnish a salad with Sweet William blossoms for an instantly joyful meal. When spirits sag and energies wane, a friend's embrace can oft sustain. Sweet William's face is filled with joy, a song of cheer, a needed refrain. Page 111. Love. Dianthus. I want to keep pulling something because like you pull, what else is there? Where's Alice, guys? Let me pull a cat. But where's Alice? I'm going to pull from the cat gurus. We had a bit of a dodgy one come out last time. Hopefully we've got some positivity from these little guys today. These are just tiny. We have Pussycat. Look for love in unexpected places. Your heart's desire might just be found in a green pea boat. How much joy these cards bring me, I can't even tell you. Look for love in unexpected places. And also when I was reading from the dandelion, I got the image of the fairy card with the pixie that's riding the dandelion about the whirlwind romance. Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious, falling in love, suddenly being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. That's what come through as I was reading the dandelion. We've got the magician underneath that. You can do anything, take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry, burning the guilt, letting it go, that ego trap. It's like you are enough. News worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations or births, friends you cherish and wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. One more kitty and I'm out. Come on. Let me have one more. Oh, oh we got three more. We've got Peter, we've got Larry, and we've got the Cheshire cat. And I couldn't find my Alice deck, but you got me the Cheshire. Hello. Sorry, look at this little fella. Stop. Don't be afraid to go down the rabbit hole. Smile and you can get away with anything. One, one, four, four. <laughs> and then we got Larry, meowing street. Play the long game in politics and in life. Watch out for vermin in the corridors of power. And then we got Peter. A sticky wicket doesn't mean you can't hit a six. I have no idea what that means. I've got to check the book. Peter. Guys. Right, the first one I've seen is Larry, so I'm going to say that this is meant to be the first one I'm seeing. 
meant to say, Chief Monsieur to the Cabinet Office. Larry follows the long-standing civil servant's tradition of refusing to toe the party line. His ambivalence towards the serving PM laissez-faire attitude to his duties and acerbic tweets acerbic 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 tweets from the front line of number 10 downing street have won him legions of loyal followers and then we have cheshire cat Owner of the cheesiest of grins, often the only part of him visible, the Cheshire Cat didn't help much with Alice's bewildering journey through Wonderland. Mind you, it was amazing he was smiling at all, given that his owner was the utterly terrifying, execution-happy Queen of Hearts. Interesting. All right, with this Cheshire Cat energy, something's coming through about a past lover that somebody was all talk. It's like the Cheshire Cat is as main character energy as Alice, really, in Alice in Wonderland. And it's like the Cheshire Cat didn't really help her with her journey. It's like the cat's not even in it that much. You don't even do that much. But the cat is the main thing of the... Like, it's, it's the main part. And even in terms of the smile... But it's like it wasn't really happy it had an abusive owner but it had that smile um like the show must go on keeping things behind closed doors keeping up appearances it feels like you are moving away from anything or anyone that isn't true that isn't authentic that isn't honest that isn't open that isn't what it is it's like believing the actions over the words, believing, it's like seeing it when you believe it, trusting your intuition when it comes to this, that people aren't as they seem, things aren't as they seem. And that you don't necessarily need people to show you who they are for you to know who they are. I don't know what Larry's all about. I don't understand half the words in Larry's explanation. So, Lassie's fair. Am I saying that correctly? I don't know. Acerbic tweets. I don't know. It feels like a little controversial energy, like standing for what you believe in, just not going with the um, popular vote. It's like doing what feels right for you, seeing through people's true intentions. It's like being able to separate people's talk from their walk in all aspects of life, love, relationships, politics, whatever it is. Pussycat. Pussycat was immortalised in Edward Lear's 1871 nonsense poem, The Owl and the Pussycat, in which the owl serenades her on a green pea boat. After a year-long hunt for a ring, the two were married by a turkey in the land where the bong trees grow. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. Something and honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a something note. Five pound note. Is that what it is there? A little five on there. <laughs> Peter, where are you, mate? Oh, there he is. Peter, aka the Marylebone Mog. This cricket-loving kitty could often be spotted patrolling Lord's hallowed pitches 
when Peter finally reached his last over, he was granted the ultimate accolade of an obituary in Wisden Cricketer's Almanac. The charming feline was known to bowl many a maiden over. <laughs> Take what you want from that, because I ain't got a clue. <laughs> The charming feline was known to bowl many a maiden over. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. Comforting, loving, emotional, intuitive. And then we have Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe, it's always greatly appreciated and I'll catch you soon. Sending so much love.